Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and testing of the 660 watt Octopus G8 from Hortybest. So this is the box that came into my door. As you can see here, it's the Octopus G8 660 watt by Hortybest. Here's some of the stats they have on the box. We'll be testing those. There's the listed spectrum and some other certifications. All right, let's get it cut open. First thing in the box is the manual. Uh, the light comes folded up and wrapped in this plastic, which I'm taking off here. Um, and here I'm showing you how it's stored for shipping. There's these little plastic end caps on the four corners of the light. Inside the box is the hanging hardware, a power adapter, and the cable to plug it into the wall, and that is it. Here's a quick look at what's inside the manual, showing instructions for hanging. I was also searching through there to see if I was supposed to take off these black pieces. Didn't mention anything, but I realized you do have to take them off to unfold it. And here's the unfolding process. The hinges are a bit stiff, which I'm not sure if it's by design or just they are stiff because it's new. But there you go, once it's unfolded and the styrofoam is removed, the light is ready to go. All right, and on to the features of this light as I see them. First, here's a quick look at how it's hung with the two ratchet straps connected to these four eye bolts. Pretty simple. Here's the knob that can go between 40 and 100% off and external control. It's nice to have a knob that can actually go all the way off. This is a full spectrum 3900K light. Um, you can see here the three different color LEDs they use. I could not find which company manufactures the LEDs, but ultimately that doesn't matter because we'll be measuring their efficiency directly in a minute. Here you can see a waterproof coating they put on here, which gives this whole unit an IP65 rating. Alright, on to the actual testing of this light. Here I've plugged the light into a watt meter and I'm getting 625 watts after running for about 30 minutes. The back of the unit reads about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The back of the LED strip reads about 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And to be fair, I was in a cold garage of which the walls read about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using the Apogee SQ520 quantum par meter to take PPFD readings in an 8x8 grid and here are the results. With a hanging height of 18 inches and a coverage area of 5 foot by 5 foot, I get an average PPFD of 735. That's a total PPF of 1707. With a power draw of 625 watts, I get an efficiency in PPF per watt of 2.73. This is quite efficient. Um, so I can definitely recommend this light for fruiting and flowering plants in a 5 foot by 5 foot area. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a hot spot, but it's not so bad because of how the light geometry is constructed, spread out over bars. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.